Hi guys, uh, my name's Tom. Uh, I am the manager of Colt and Pepper. Uh, as you can probably tell from the name, I am an Indianapolis Colts fan. Uh, have been since about 2007. And uh, Matt's just sent us um, a few questions uh, that he just wants answering so that he can he can add it on. So yeah, so this is me. Uh, apologies if I look away from the screen it's just I've got uh, a few questions noted on my laptop uh, so just need to to have a quick look away every now and again uh, so the first question was when did you start watching NFL and what was it that appealed to you um, the first ever game that I watched was Super Bowl 41 uh, which was the Indianapolis Colts against the Chicago Bears um, I sort of I turned it on out of luck. It was one of those nights where I couldn't sleep and there was literally nothing else on the TV. So I managed to flick on BBC um, and they were showing it. And it was just one of them things. I was just like, yeah, this is sport. That'll do. Um, so, yeah, I, I continued watching it and I didn't understand any of the rules whatsoever. I had absolutely no idea what American football was even about. Um, the only thing that I liked about it was that it was a spectacle. It was uh, entertaining um, at the time. Uh, I was sort of a bit unsure due to the fact that there were a lot of stoppages in play. Um, previously, I've, 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 I've been more of a, a football fan, um, so there aren't as many stoppages. Obviously, only when the ball goes out of play for a throw or a goal kick or something like that. So I was never actually a, a massive fan, um, but I turned to myself and I sort of said, right, well, if I do get into this, then I'm going to support the team who wins. Um, not realising, obviously, that, uh, you know, NFL isn't exactly like football. I mean, like you don't always get sort of like the same four teams in the top four of, of football's league. Um, American football is broken down uh, a lot more granularly. And at the time, yeah. As I said, I, I just said, I will pick the winner and whoever wins, you know, I will start supporting. So I was a bit of a glory supporter um, in that sense, but it's it's worked out quite well. Um, no, no one else that I really know sort of supports them uh, in, and around, in and around uh, the groups, which I'm now a part of when it comes to uh, NFL. Um I'm currently part of, of three leagues, um, but the Dynasty one is is the main one for me. Um, it's definitely my favourite, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll try and explain that in a, in a bit more detail um, in a bit. Uh, another thing which I have written is, um, obviously I've stated previously, I have no ideas on the rules or the players, but I just couldn't stop watching. Um, it was, yeah, more out of intrigue. And then, yeah, we, we started getting chatting at work and... There was sort of, you know, like a lot of to and fro and to and fro. And uh, I'm going to mention Mr. Carl Johns here because he still maintains that the game between the Colts and the Patriots, he still defends Deflategate, which uh, I don't 100% agree on. And I don't think that we will ever agree on. But um, yeah, it's, it's uh, just a bit of fun when it comes to something like that. Uh, favourite player um, before I sort of go into it um, I just want to say that I'm a massive fan of Rigoberto Sanchez um, at this present moment in time um, I mean I, I look at him and sort of think what he's been through and he, he's absolutely amazing you know to, to have a, a cancerous tumour removed uh, one day and then two weeks later he's, he's, he's back in practice and he's back playing he's he's, he's fantastic he's, he's a great sort of um example of you know if if you put your mind to it you can sort of you know achieve anything which i absolutely love about him and on top of that he's actually a great punter as well um but speaking of favorite players and punters uh it's got to be pat mcafee um he, he he was just hilarious i've read numerous things about him and seen so many different videos of of his personality and stuff like that and and he's just brilliant. He's really, really entertaining to watch. And even so now, um, as much as I hate to ad admit it, uh, I'm a wrestling fan as well. So it's really, really nice to sort of see him on commentary. And 
yeah, he puts his own sort of personal spin on it. And I think people now realise just what a, an absolutely top guy he is. Um, he's, he's one of the people that I would love to meet as well. So if for any reason he sees this podcast or, or this YouTube video, Pat, get in contact, please. I'd love to meet you. Um, why do you love fantasy football? Um, rival me. I, I've put rivalry and it makes Sunday evenings more entertaining. I think uh, throughout the, what well, this is now the fourth year, uh, throughout the sort of three, four years that we have been playing this, it, it's just been, it's just been entertaining. Um, it's, yeah, it, it just makes, I think, Sunday evenings a lot more fun. I think the majority of us obviously watch Red Zone on Sky Sports Mix and we're constantly sort of chatting via text messages and, and stuff like that and just keeping it interesting. I think, for example, last night, uh, obviously with it now being post week one, uh, a few people were sort of talking about the Kansas City Browns game and how entertaining it was, and um, you know, sort of not necessarily score predictions, but who's going to win, and uh, yeah, it, it was just it was fantastic in that sense. Uh, which players on your fantasy football team do you love that isn't from your favourite team, and why? Uh, I've put two players here. Um, I've gone for Austin Eckler and I've gone for Josh Allen. Uh, now, obviously, as we know, both players are absolutely key for their teams currently. But both of these players I actually managed to pick up off the waiver wire, um, which was quite fortunate. So I think Josh Allen was back in 2018 uh, before, obviously, he finished eighth in QB stats in 2019 and then obviously first uh, last year. So I think that was uh, that was quite an interesting pickup, and I was really really happy with that. And obviously Austin Eckler has has gone on to become a great rusher, a great pass um, receiver as well in the backfield. So yeah, really really happy with them. Uh, how was your rookie draft, and did you get the players that you wanted? Throughout the entire process of this, I have tried to trade as much as possible and actually give away draft picks and. Uh, so my 2021 second round draft pick I gave away last year in exchange for Todd Gurley because I was kind of hoping that he would have a bit of a rebound season. And I think through the first seven games of the season, he'd scored six or seven touchdowns and it looked like an absolute bargain. Uh, but then obviously everything went downhill and he didn't perform the second half of the season and... Yeah, so I actually dropped into waivers and he's been picked up, I think, by Matt Nortier, uh for the Shiva. So, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll have to sort of deal with him now going forward. Obviously, I love Todd Gurley as a player. I thought he was absolutely fantastic. And I, I think he was one of, I think he was actually the first pick when we originally started in 2018. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I literally had one third round pick left and with that I got my fourth choice receiver um, and even though there were so many different receivers taken prior to him uh, I went for Amron Ra St. Brown uh, of the Detroit Lions uh, having reviewed his stats he was he was fourth on my list above players like Elijah Moore who obviously went a lot earlier in our, our redraft so yeah, very, very happy with that. And I think he's going to be an absolute class uh, player. And obviously last night he only got two receptions for about 23 yards. But yeah, I, th I think he's definitely got potential. And I'm really sort of excited to see what he can do. Uh, he's currently in my taxi squad uh, for rookies. But might even sort of think about bringing him up um, later on in the season, depending on how he, how he does through the first sort of couple of weeks. And yeah, definitely an interesting prospect. Uh, what do you love about the Dynasty League? Uh, I think more so uh, it's got to be the WhatsApp group. I think it's absolute class. We we banter, we throw stuff at one another. Matt Mutton, uh, obviously the commissioner, he always sort of throws different things in there just to sort of keep us on our feet. You know, like like this, for example, it's just like, do you fancy making a video and so that I can publish it? And I was just like, yeah, that's great. Every now and again, he'll he'll throw in a YouTube link to uh to watch a live game of baseball, even though it's an American football group. 
Um, I think due to the fact, obviously, we all watch Red Zone on a Sunday as well, it sort of gives us a lot to talk about on the Monday because everyone knows that Mondays are a rather drab day. So it's it's a good topic of conversation sort of um, for the next day as well, obviously, during the evening that we do have. Uh, who was your rival and why? I wouldn't necessarily say that I have a massive rival because I haven't done fantastically in the first sort of three years, but you've always got to throw out sibling, uh, sibling rivalry. So uh, Alistair and Stuart, um, if you're viewing this, I view you as, as the biggest rivals to myself. Um, obviously, si sibling rivalry uh, comes into to play massively here and I will always, always want to beat them. Um, well, I'd always want to beat everyone, but I, I would say sort of more so them. Um, and what are your expectations for the 2021 season? Um, Simply put, I want to win. I think that I've got a very strong team this year. Uh, obviously, with the addition of uh, McCaffrey um, at the beginning of last season, I got him in a trade um, along with Devontae Parker, and I gave up Josh Jacobs and Calvin Ridley as well as a draft pick because I was desperate to get him in. And then, obviously, I think he played a total of three games uh, last season. Um, and obviously Calvin Ridley went and, and absolutely tore up the league. 